OK, well, today's local lockdown walk from Matlock begins here on Snitterton Road. Now, look at that for a view of Matlock. Another local view that I never get tired of. I can just see where I live. Up there, hidden amongst all the other buildings on the hill. Anyway, it's the 27th of February, 2021, and this local walk today is probably my favourite. I've done this many times. It's one of the walks that, like the others I've done, I don't get tired of it, but this is a favourite for various reasons, and I think that'll become more obvious as we go on through the day. My path took me below Shining Cliff, soon meeting Elaine. I headed up the hill past St John's Chapel, a former private chapel, which, together with its retaining and attached walls, is recorded in the National Heritage List for England as a designated Grade II listed building, and is under the care of the Friends of Friendless Churches. At the top, I turned right, climbing steeply beside a wall, before emerging onto an open hillside, providing superb views across the valley. I was now approaching the Heights of Abraham. Yeah, getting spoilt for more views again. Isn't it lovely? I have to laugh because just a bit further back there, this other chap was walking the other way, walking down the lane as I was walking up towards this way. And uh, he was looking very quite stern. And when I walked past, I went, morning. And he just went like that. Didn't say a word, not a word, just completely ignored me and carried on his way. I said, nice talking to you. Miserable sod, honestly. I mean, <laughs> When I say good morning to somebody, I don't expect them to say, Oh, hello to you. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for stopping to say hello. <laughs> but just to completely ignore me like that, you know, what a miserable old fart. I just felt like saying, well, you know, have a nice day and don't strip up on your way down the hill. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Anyway, I've just got to climb up a little bit further and the view should be even more spectacular. spectacular views indeed. Fantastic. Again, never tire of this view. Obviously you can see Ryber Castle on the top there and that's Starcombe's village nestled in the hillside below and in front of that you can just see the, the rock face of High Tor. And where I was last time right on the top of High Tor is just to the left of where that mast is. Uh, yeah, huge sheer drop. Yeah, fantastic view. Just over there is the Heights of Abraham. Closed today for obvious reasons. 
but even if it was open, you can't access it from here because you need a ticket to get through the gate. But yeah, top of the cable cars are just below where that tower is. Yeah. I've got a friend actually who works at the Heights of Abraham. And I've been wondering about her a lot actually over the past year because with the Heights of Abraham being closed for most of the time during the pandemic, I just wonder how she's been coping. But uh, yeah, anyway, there's light at the end of the tunnel. So I keep saying to myself, light at the end of the tunnel because the vaccines are really racing through now. So just a little bit longer, not much longer. I followed the path to a gate in the wall and continued through woodland beyond. Emerging from the trees, I came out onto a rough field track at a junction of paths near Ember Farm. More lovely open views, how fantastic, but in a different direction this time. I'll be heading over that way soon, towards Bonsall. Over there is Middleton by Worksworth. Above Worksworth, the other side, which you can't see from here. And just to the left there, where the mast is, that's just by Black Rocks above Cromford. Lovely. I followed the track from Ember Farm, rising very gently. Soon the track dropped downhill again, as it slowly led me into the village of Bonsall. I passed one of several old water fountains as I began to explore around Bonsall. This attractive historic former lead mining village, set in steeply sided converging limestone dales, has a charming atmosphere all of its own. St James Church is a fine church with its tower and sits high up overlooking the village. All around the village are fine looking houses and quaint cottages, some clinging to the sides of the dale. I walk down to the road at Dale End by another old water fountain, just in front of the fountain tea rooms, store and deli. When I first moved to Derbyshire in 2003, there were a couple of people from work that I knew that actually lived here in Bonsall. And they invited me over to the village hall a few times because back then there was a local film club in Bonsall. And it was fantastic, it was great. And that was a way of getting to know more people because at that time I didn't know a lot of people locally. But it was great because we saw some really good films there. And a lot of the films that we saw at the film club were ones that were made locally. Um, there was one, and I can't remember what it was called, but it was filmed in and around the Peak District and some of the scenes were filmed in Matlock and Bonsall. But another one was Dead Man's Shoes. And of course that was filmed in Matlock and there were some scenes that were filmed around Bonsall too. So that was a real great film to see here at the Village Hall. The approach to Bonsall is via a steep hill leading up from via Gellia and nearby Cromford. The road is called the Clatterway, or occasionally the Col de Bonsall. The surrounding area is rich in old mine workings, reflecting the importance of lead to the area. Bonsall has also attracted much worldwide interest as a centre of paranormal activity, including many sightings of UFOs. 
From the fountain, I walked up the dale, soon reaching the Barley Mow pub, a traditional pub really worth seeking out. The pub car park is the venue of the annual Bonsall Hen Races. The Barley Mow is just an absolutely fantastic pub. And I'm really looking forward to it reopening once lockdown's over. The last time I came here was probably two years ago. And that was when I organised one of my real ale minibus trips. One of those trips that there's up to 16 of us travel on a, a taxi, you know, 16 seater taxi. And uh, we're driven round five pubs that I choose. I plot a route around different parts of the Peak District. And the last one I organised involved stopping here at uh, the, the Barley Mow and it was great. We ended up at the boat at Cromford, that was the last pub because that was closest to home, so that was great. But the Barley Mow is just a wonderful pub and it's not really changed, certainly in all the years I've been living in Matlock, it's not changed its character at all, it's lovely, really nice place. So yeah, looking forward to it reopening again once lockdown is over. Continuing up the dale from the Barley Mow, I passed Bonsall Wesleyan Reform Chapel, beyond which the lane swung sharply right, where I climbed up steeply to Upper Town. Here I turned off right along Bell Lane, where I joined the Limestone Way. This stretch of today's walk would take me along a gorgeous narrow path between dry stone walls. I think now I'm getting some of the best views of Bonsall on today's walk. Lovely. After a while, this delightful path dropped down into the centre of Bonsall. In the sloping market square is the unusual 17th century cross, set on top of 13 circular stone steps. The ball on top was added in 1671. The King's Head was established in 1677, a beautiful building in the market square, and another pub I have been privileged to have visited many times before now. Okay, well that was a lovely little walk around Bonsall. Another beautiful village. So all I've got to do is follow the limestone way back over the hill and I'll be back home again. From the market square, I continued along the limestone way as it headed up along a restricted byway, climbing determinedly from the village. Despite the climb, the walk was relatively easy all I had to do was follow the way marks for the limestone way. I'm sure it was three years ago I lasted this walk. I remember it was a February, but it was how February should be, 
cold, not really warm like it's been today. <laughs> yeah, I did exactly the same route, but of course that was a year before we went into lockdown. And uh, I remember going into the barley mow in Monsal, and I had a pint there. Then when I walked back into the centre of Monsal, I went into the King's Head, and I ended up having three pints. Didn't actually plan to have three pints, but I just sort of got comfortable and just thought, oh, I'll have another pint, you know. Yeah, I'll have another one. <laughs> but I think the, <laughs> the thing about it was, <laughs> I'd had nothing to eat that day. I'd had breakfast in the morning, but uh, I hadn't taken any lunch with me. So I was drinking on an empty stomach. <laughs> so I remember walking along where I am now, along these, these fields. I was quite pissed. <laughs> I was walking in the cold February day and I was half pissed walking along going, ah, oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> but it's sort of, it's strange. Being slightly inebriated, it sort of just, it augmented my feelings of, of how I love the countryside. It was, it was incredible. <laughs> it was just, it was just a really nice day, despite being quite pissed on an empty stomach and then Walking back to Matlock from here, it was a lovely day, it really was. So I have no regrets really, apart from maybe next time, like I did today, take a packed lunch with me. <laughs> As the limestone way levelled out across the slopes of Masson Hill, the route began to slowly descend again, where the views were just amazing. Okay, well I'm nearly at the end of today's walk, but I'm now at the point where I can say why this is my personal favourite of the local walks I do. There's no real need to say anything, but isn't that just fantastic? These views were definitely the best on today's walk. It was time for me to move on, though, so I carried on along the limestone way as it slowly but surely descended back into Matlock. back where I started now. Just down there is Snitterton Road in Matlock. That's where I started this morning and then I walked along there, across above Matlock Dale towards the Heights of Abraham. So what a lovely walk. I mean, 27th of February and it's, I'm sweltering wearing all this. It's just amazing that it's been so warm for February. But a few weeks ago, it was the other end of the scale. It was bitingly cold. But that's what you'd expect in February. It's gone to the other extreme, it's really weird. OK, I'm going to make my way home now. Down there and up the other side. That was a really lovely walk today. Definitely my favourite of all the local walks I do. OK, well, I'm back home now, obviously. But I just wanted to say one more thing. I just want to give a shout out. A shout out to two guys I met today, and that's Tim and Dave. So, hi, Tim and Dave. Tim and Dave, I actually met them literally as I was finishing my walk. I was walking down the limestone way down Masson Hill, back towards Matlock. And I met them both there. And there are a couple of local guys. And I just want to say it was really nice meeting you both. So 
Hopefully I'll catch up with you again very soon. Bye for now.